Say your names. I'm Susan. This Hi. is Teresa. Oh, my and God. Michael. And Michael, what brings you out today? Um, well, we're here in uh, Pennsylvania on a family vacation. We're seeing the Capitol building and we're going to Hershey Park. Okay, where are you from? We're from New York. New York. From New York, okay. And so you just happened to stumble upon the traditional marriage rally? Yes, yes. that's right. Okay, um, and now I had, um, as you walked past, I had heard that you had some things that you wanted to say. Um, what, 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 were, what were those things that you wanted to say? Uh, no. <laughs> Yes. No what? Um, you know, I forgot. Michael should say stuff. <laughs> change is the natural law of nature, and if we don't change, we could die. But not all change is good. But I'm not saying gay marriage is bad. What are you saying? Gay marriage should be allowed because if someone loves someone, they should be able to get married. And change is like the natural law of nature. Mm. And so, Mom, have you talked to your children about, you know, loving, love is love, and... We've had conversations with our children that um, we accept all people, regardless of who they love, what color they may be, what God they may worship, and um, we seek to treat, or not worship, and uh, we seek to treat all of those people equally and afford them all of the same rights. Certainly, marriage is a civil right. <laughs> now, in Atlanta, when we made our stop in Atlanta, um, National Organization for Marriage had Martin Luther King's niece, um, Alveda King, and she said same-sex marriage would be the beginning of extinction of mankind and compared it to genocide. So um, it was um, really great to see your son saying that it's the natural, change is natural. Absolutely. And um, it's a it's a shame that, um, that we had to hear those kind of sentiments, especially from the daughter of one of the leaders that I think everyone in this uh, movement would embrace as embracing civil rights for everyone. And um, you know, we feel strongly that uh, that marriage is, uh, you know, we are straight families certainly for gay marriage and we feel really strongly that all people should experience this kind of love and joy and that children of gay parents should know that they are equally loved and, and recognized equally under the law. While we were in Atlanta, we also met and interviewed a mother, Patty Ellis, and she said her and Sarah Palin agreed on one thing, that if you become, become between a mama grizzly bear and her cub, there will be trouble. And she compared herself to a mama grizzly bear. Um, sh her son had come out, and her, it was hard for her family to deal with at first. Um, and I asked her what would be her message to moms that have, are having this trouble, and she said, you know, hug your child, they're the, still the same person. What what would you say to moms out there that might be struggling with this issue? Yeah, I would say, Mama Grizzlies, it's time to put your claws away and it's time to really embrace not just your own family members, but your neighbor, right? That's the first rule, I think, of um, those, who, those who follow the Bible. So it's really time to extend an arm to our neighbors, gay and straight, and embrace them for the things that they need in their lives to be full and happy and in the pursuit of happiness that we describe here. Thank you.